Gracias, señor presidente. Comisario. Thank you, President. Commissioner Reinders, European Parliament, the Spanish People's Party has failed abysmally uh, when they tried to get their president elected, uh, their candidate elected to the government of Spain. And not content with that failure, they have to force this debate in this chamber on a legitimate initiative, put forward a proposal for a constitutional law where there's no suspicion of constitutional uh, of con control over the courts or anything. The, the, I'm sure that the People's Party will bring a, appeals under uh, constitutional law and will uh, also take this to uh, uh, your, the European Court for a prior ruling as to whether it's constitutional. But in fact, this constitutional law does not contain any threat on the framework of the Constitution or the rule of law in Spain with the exception of what you were trying to do to force the parliamentary situation. You, you are forcing Article 90 of the Spanish Constitution in our Parliament. There's no d worse infringement of the constitutional law in Spain than this repeated nauseating blockage to, on elections of and renewal of the Council of the Judiciary, the General Council of the Judiciary that's been going on for years and years in Spain. There were exceptional circumstances under the People's Party government that it wasn't able to prevent and it wasn't subsequently able to def sufficiently to defend the constitutional reputation, reputation sorry, of Spain. And now you are perversely attacking the, the constitutional reputation of Spain and you support those who are rabidly demonstrating outside the Socialist Party's headquarters with swastikas. And I would add, how do democracies die? This is the name of a uh, publication that's more often referred to than it's, than it's actually read. Democracies die when the possibility of an alternative is denied. Not when somebody who is democratically elected reaches government. So please allow me to say those in the People's Party. The People's Party is not in power. Everybody should know this because they weren't able to let go of the extreme right and because the majority of the Spanish Congress cannot hear. You shouldn't be able to aspire to govern Spain if you don't know Spain, if you don't love Spain, and you don't appreciate how pluralistic Spain is. Thank you very much, Mr. Teres, for one minute.